Hey guys, um, about, that wasn't quite a year ago, but it's probably a good six or eight or nine months, um, I bought a Crystalite. You're talking a, if I can get a shot of it, a 5303 Crystalite Phoenix. I know that number's upside down. I flipped the camera upside down, but it's got an accelerometer in it. Anyway, um, I put the motor on the bike. Hooked it up with um, the controller. It was an Infineon controller I got from you guys along with a direct plug-in cycle analyst and the wheel just jittered on me. I thought maybe I would have some faulty hall sensors. Um, anyway, like I said, I bought this thing months ago and the project just kind of fell by the wayside. So I've just picked it back up. Today I went ahead and I got my uh, gear puller. I've gone ahead and opened up the motor, so I've got the stator sitting here, and I mean everything looks absolutely pristine in here. I see absolutely no damage whatsoever. Um, it comes up. There's your hall sensors. Um, I want to test these. I want to make sure that they're okay. If they are, I can pretty much eliminate a problem with the motor and assume that the problem is with the controller I got, I got from you guys. And I'll just replace it. I'm not really concerned about, you know, refunds and all this stuff at this point. I just want to get the bike running. So my main questions are, how am I going to test these things to verify that they are working? Um, obviously, I've got my multimeter. I went ahead and I picked up a 30-pound permanent magnet. But I'm not precisely sure how these work. First of all, what kind of hall sensors are they? Are they latched? Which means they will complete the circuit until the opposite pole hits them? Or do they just complete a circuit when they're hit? Or are these the type that will actually induce a current in the line? I do not know. Now I do see, and, and I'm sure you guys are aware already, you're not going to be able to see on the video, that each if I can get some kind of shot. Each of the hall sensors has three wires going in. One red, one black. And then there's the Roy G. Biv. I'm assuming the red and the black are like a five volt power supply, but I don't know. These are the, this is the information I need. So if I can figure out how to test these to verify that those hall sensors are working, I can close this motor back up and be confident the problem's in the controller. Anyway. Any help would be appreciated. Thanks, guys.